Welcome to our Firebird Database Administrator Training, covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman, as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. In this tutorial, we'd like to show you just how important Firebird indices are, and how their selectivity influences performance. So, what is an index? Indices are a sorted list of pointers into tables to speed data access. They can be best described as an alphabetical directory with internal pointers, where what can be found. If the indexed field is unique, there is only one pointer. An index can be ascending or descending, and can also be defined as unique if wished. Indices should not be confused with keys. In the relational model, a key is used to organize data logically, so that specific rows can be identified. An index, however, is part of the table's physical structure on disk and is used to increase the performance of tables during queries. Indices are therefore not a part of the relational model. In spite of this, indices are extremely important for relational database systems. For columns defined with a primary key or a foreign key in a table, Firebird automatically generates a corresponding ascending index and enforces the uniqueness constraint demanded by the relational model. Firebird 2 introduced indexing on expressions and increased the maximum length of index keys, which used to be fixed at 252 bytes, to one quarter of the page size, that is, varying from 256 to 4096 bytes. The maximum indexable string length in bytes is 9 less than the key length. You'll find a wealth of information about indices in the IB Expert online documentation chapter index indices on our website. The Firebird Optimizer and Index Statistics All statistics are calculated when indices are created, based on any data already entered, and are only recalculated when a database is restored after backing up, or when this is explicitly requested by the developer. When an index is initially created, if there is no data in the field, its statistical value is zero. The selectivity of the index is the best clue that the query plan has whether it should use the particular index or not. Every time you issue a piece of SQL, when you issue a select or an update against the server, the first thing it does is prepare how it's going to execute this. Firebird decides whether to use this index or that index depending on the selectivity. Imagine the following situation. You have a database of all the inhabitants of Great Britain. You require a list of all men living in the town Little Bigton. How should the server process the query? The population of Great Britain is currently around 60 million, approximately half are men. So should the server first select all men, around 30 million, and then take these results and select all those who live in Little Bigton? Or should it first select all the residents of Little Bigton, which, let's say, has a population of around 5,000, and then select all men? The best selectivity is, of course, to first select all residents of Little Bigton and then discern the number of males. The problem is that when you send the query to the server, it needs further information to help it decide how to go about executing the query. So, if you have an index that has two distinct values in it, you'll have a selectivity of 0.5. Ten different values will give you a selectivity of 0.1. So, from that, you should be able to see that the higher the number of different values, the lower number selectivity, the better it is to be used as an index. A good selectivity is close to zero. That's the result of one divided by distinct values. For example, select star from product where category ID equals 12 and special equals one. The 11 results are found pretty quickly. And Firebird used the index IX prod special. And then it continued with the IX prod category. In category, there are various values and special pretty well only contains the value zero. So the decision to use the index prod special wasn't a particularly clever one. But the database doesn't know at the moment which data is lying behind the indices. Special could potentially store totally different values. Firebird constructs its plan based on the information it has. If you take a look in IB Expert at the indices page, there are indices on both fields which contain values, which indicate how unique each index is, the so-called index statistic. As this index was created before any data was entered, the statistical values are still set at zero. Zero means that the last time the index statistics were recomputed, there were no values to calculate. If I take a look at the IB Expert plan analyzer, 
I can see what Firebird has done and in what order. If we recompute the selectivity of the indices, we can see in the plan analyzer that now the category index is first used. The plan analyzer now shows different statistic values and uses a new plan. Category now has a statistical value of 6.25% and if we look at special, it's 50% as there are only two possibilities, 0 or 1. Firebird always approaches the data selection using the best selectivity. It's up to you to make sure that the selectivity is as up-to-date as possible. You can recompute the selectivity of all indices in IB Expert at any time using the mouse right-click context-sensitive menu. Another common problem is that when an application is delivered to a customer, an empty database is supplied. That is, it contains only the metadata and no customer data. As different customers enter different amounts of data, with time some may complain that their application is too slow in certain areas. This is most often due to the indice statistics not having been calculated up to date, or not having been calculated at all, which means that the optimizer cannot use the indices efficiently to process queries. If you want to have your software working at its most efficient, always use up-to-date statistic values to maximize performance. If one customer has many orders for few products, all serviced by two employees, and another customer has few orders for many products, serviced by 100 employees, the index statistics and hence selectivity will obviously develop differently. Without updating the index statistics regularly as more and more data is added, you will incur performance problems. The command for explicitly recomputing index selectivity is set statistics index. It is therefore extremely important, particularly with new databases where the first datasets are being entered, to regularly, explicitly recompute the selectivity, so that the optimizer can recognize the most efficient indices. This is not so important with databases where little data manipulation occurs, as the selectivity will change very little. Automating the recalculation of index statistics. The index names can be found in a system table called RDB$ Indices. This table also displays the index value of each index in the RDB$ statistics column. The easiest way to see this is with the following SQL. Select star from RDB$ indices. You can see in the results here that the values are not zero, which is good. You could use a procedure, for example, select RDB$ index name from RDB$ indices to obtain a list of all index names. A procedure can then be created directly from this. Refer to Create View or Procedure from Select in our online documentation for further information, selecting into local variables. Then simply rename the procedure to re-index, alter the variable to declare variable SQL varchar 300 and also into SQL. Here, the set statistics index statement has been combined with the SQL variable. And inside a Firebird stored procedure, it is possible to use this SQL statement, which is inside a variable, and execute it directly from the procedure. To run, simply type execute procedure re-index. And this is what your finished procedure could look like. Using a procedure such as this re-index, we can avoid the necessity for user intervention. You do not even need to shut down the database to recompute the selectivity of indices. Do this regularly and the optimizer will be able to use indices efficiently. So, that was our introduction to Firebird Indices and Index Selectivity. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IP Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We hope this tutorial has been of help to you and look forward to publishing our next topic, Optimizing SQL Commands. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert. Mm -hmm.